then the question is what should india or the government of india and the government of the states do together and i think that's really where the biggest weakness is right now the government of india i say this apolitically is basically neither taking a lead role in doing all these marketings they announce some policies and stuff or when actual investments come they are directing them to their favored states right one or maybe two and there is no coordination between like if we get called like i get called all the time to speak at international conferences i have to get approval from the government of india before i can travel mm. that approval process itself is so onerous and so painful that i hardly you know sometimes i just say it's not worth it let me not even apply then when i apply it will be given the day before i leave if it's given that late i can't set up six other meetings because if they don't give it in time i don't want to renege on meetings i've set up and spoil my relationship what they should be doing instead is encouraging us to go supporting us with their partner in the meeting and saying how can we work closer together how can we market jointly that because you know they set the free trade agreement they set the diplomatic relations they set the incentive models all those are done rightly so by the union we can't have every state having its own policy for estonia mm. but once they set that then there's no factory in the union of india right it has to be in some state there's no uh, office that is being set up in you know in in some cloud it, it is set up in delhi or in tamil nadu or in uh, you know telangana or some place so i think the government of india needs to work a lot more closely with all states and in particular the southern states because that's where the headcount is we just heard the statistic two thirds the revenue and 50% of the headcount in these areas of technology are in this part so really we should work much more closer and i think that's probably the biggest gap we have right now the center does very little to coordinate and cohesively market india including us mm. uh, we are doing okay and we are benefiting from the wave and given yeah. that it's a once in a lifetime opportunity Absolutely. maybe there is a hit or miss like yeah. if we don't take it now no it's once in a lifetime for two three reasons the first reason is that this is 20 years of one trade unwinding right it will unwind with or without you it will go to other places it won't come to you the second is you will not have this demographic dividend again right let's mm. be very clear places like south india already declining populations mm. we may not want to say it openly but mm. the total fertility rate dropped below 2 a decade ago mm. even places like up and bihar are on trajectory mm. in the next 10 15 years to hit by peak population and start going down mm. so it's not like you'll perpetually be the human resource capital of the world you are today mm. but you know at some point africa will become the the biggest source of human beings and not not uh, india so this is a unique opportunity because both these trends are coming together and both have limited lifespan it's not like today tomorrow but it's not like perpetually 